Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Beef Reacts. Today. Today, we're watching a death battle between Lord Frieza and Megatron. Uh, now, here's the thing. I had watched the first minute and a half of this video, reali not realizing that the screen was black, and uh, that's a bad look. Like, you don't like that. I don't like that. My phone's still busted. That's an L and a half. I don't like L's. Um, actually, the only L I like is from Death Note. Anyway, um, here we are. We have Space Napoleon Hitler versus Megatron. What does Megatron turn into? I assume it's something dope like a fucking tank. I hope it's a tank. Um, I gotta stop saying um. Stop it. So. I lost my train of thought. Let's just jump back into it. I can't believe I did that. Such a rookie mistake. This episode of Death Battle sponsored by NordVPN and better. Okay, the I. Formers. When these two works. dictators collide, the cosmos will tremble. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze yep. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I. Frieza, right? He's fucking. He's Lord Frieza. And on top of him being Lord Frieza, he's just. Right? Like. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I am. But you have Frieza Black, who's on par with, like, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan bullshit. What the fuck is Mega... What is Megatron gonna do? Make himself more machines? Like, how strong is... You know what? That's not fair. I've never seen Transformers. I don't know. I've only ever seen the one with Megan Fox and where America peaked because... Lincoln Park played in the background. That's all I know. Deep in the bowels of outer space lies a monster so cruel, so callous, so evil that the universe itself trembles at his approach. Yeah. Behold the mighty Lord Frieza. Oh, he's adorable with the horns and that floppy tail and the. That should have been quicker. Genocide. Hey, he's a great leader. I can't name a single great leader that didn't delve into a little bit of genocide. I mean, to be fair, one of the most prolific killers of the uh, 20th century was called Great Leader. All right? That's all I'm saying. So, I mean, it takes just a little bit of genocide. And you get to call yourself a great leader. Now, I think this is where... Um, the great leaders differ from the bigots, right? You know, when when the great leader Mao was was killing millions of people, it was his own people, you know? So it wasn't bigoted. But when Adolf did it, it was completely bigoted. It was the worst fucking thing in the world. Now, for those who uh, are children or not mentally mature enough to understand a fucking joke... Um, they're both horrible human beings and you may be asking yourself beef why are you saying this because when I don't clarify something's a joke <laughs> people take it seriously for some reason like no anyone who kills thousands millions hundreds tens of people probably not a good person thank you Facetious. Ooh, That's where I'm thinking of. Facetious. Stature and faux gentility were intentionally deceptive and rooted in a surprising place. In response to the Japanese economic bubble at the time, Frieza's design was meant to evoke real estate speculators. Series mangaka Akira Toriyama has described such speculators as the worst sort of. I came up with the free with Frieza around the time of the bubble, and the land shark was the worst person of all so i made him is he loan shark the number one land shark in the universe of people 
Fair. Yes, really. I guess you could say Frieza is more than meets the eye. Oh, wait, shit, that's later. Much is unknown about Frieza's alien race. Full name, Lord Frieza, aka Frieza Freezer Refrigerator, age more than 70. Five foot two, goddamn. He's almost as tall as Joe Rogan. Universe Emperor, a mutant frost demon. Likes grape soda, freeze a day, Yamcha. Hates Saiyan stuffed animals in cooler. Now, how much of this do you think they're taking from DBZ a bridge? Because I feel like if you're gonna do this, you need to at least have a little bit of DBZ egg. It's in heritage, only that he and his father were born as mutants with abnormally high power levels. Good for oh, like them. How the doc said my blood alcohol level was 0.8 straight out the womb. Frieza was Hype. so crazy strong that unlike most Dragon Ball characters who transform to get stronger, Frieza transforms to get weaker. So he doesn't like accidentally nuke a planet. Only intentionally. What? With his father. That that can't be true. Because why would the final form be so menacing? Or is final form base form? I Listen, I don't think you guys know what you're talking about, but I assume you do. Most Dragon Ball characters who transform to get stronger, Frieza tr For Camelot to conserve these are some beings who change their shape as their new I'm so powerful that I can't keep myself under control, or in my case, so what you're sa so he transforms to be weaker. My brain hurts. It doesn't fucking make sense. Make it make sense. Why wouldn't this just be base for final form is just base for uh, okay. Transforms to get weaker so he doesn't like accidentally nuke a planet only intentionally why with did he come up with dildo head and army at his beck and call frieza would cross the universe conquering worlds one by one and As selling he does. them to the highest bidder just like real estate speculators and if anyone objected he'd just kill them their entire family and everyone they ever knew like real estate like real estate speculators while he usually lets his weird multicolored alien grunts do his dirty work for him, Frieza's not afraid to throw down himself, especially if some spiky-haired space monkeys start getting too uppity for their own good. Wiz. No, Wiz. Wiz, oh, get your boy, dog. I mean, he's not... He's spitting, but goddamn. Uh, fun fact about the U.S. housing market. Did you know that the factors that caused the 2008 housing bubble and subsequent market crash that ruined many of your family's lives and affected mine i'm not gonna pretend like it didn't none of it was changed and a lot of it still happening today which is why there's still currently a real estate market bubble within the united states because houses that should be worth 150,000 are being sold for 300,000. And because of that, they are starting to they are starting to give out more ninja loans which is no income, no justifiable assets. So, uh considering everything is just fucked as it is, for you savvy people out there, if you want you could probably get houses for cheap in the next three to four years. So start saving now because we don't fix problems here. We just kind of shirk the bill to the next administration. And that's a beef fact. Frieza's strength comes from his innate understanding and manipulation of his own key or life energy, which he can use to enhance his physicality or manifest into projectile attacks. Like Insane. His classic death beam, death bowl, death wave, death cannon, death a lot of death. A lot of death. Sensitive theme here. Frieza can move mountains with his mind. Oh my god. Key blast, death cannon, death wave, nova strike, flight, death saucer, eye lasers, telekinesis, death beam, death bullet, grand death beam, cage of light, transformations, lesser forms, final form. Golden Frieza, Black Frieza. Fire laser beams from his eyes, create key force fields, and he even learned to sense the key of others through sheer observation alone. He's fast enough to keep up with Goku's key attacks, which, scaled to the key he absorbed for a spirit bomb against Kid Buu, could move across the universe in less than a minute. That would be over 17 quadrillion times the speed of light, and he's gotten even stronger and faster since then.
No. No. No, 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 no. No. I'm saying no. Because Kid Boo is like fucking six years later and three Super Saiyans past this point. No, you cannot scale fucking Frieza from the Frieza saga with fucking Kid Boo Goku. Fuck you for that. No, you don't get to do that. Does he scale with it? Yes, he does. Because he has golden and black Frieza. But you can't say that this current Frieza that we're talking about is in the same fucking vein. You know you're a badass when you can stroll into Planet Vegeta, a planet filled with people whose only higher aspirations involve murder and hair gel and talk shit like you own the place. And he God got bless. so paranoid about one of them getting strong enough to kick his ass that he blew up the friggin' planet. Considering Planet Vegeta has 10 times the gravity of Earth, this would mean it likely has 10 times the mass and 100 times the energy required to overcome its gravitational binding energy and destroy it. That's over 5.3 Yoda tons of TNT. It said septillion. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Well, thank you for putting the calculating the kinetic energy of dispersed matter yields a two non-million ton detonation enough power to obliterate a star. Five, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, twenty-three, twenty-three zeros. Okay, that's a big ass number. Conceptually, I don't think anyone will ever be able to know what the fuck that means but okay and that was in his weakest form too bad he kind of missed a spot or several because a bunch of saiyans survived to fight another day space genocide just ain't what it used to be this hey, was back to bite him when he was finally forced to confront the earthbound saiyan kakarot and accidentally ended up being the reason he turned into the legendary super saiyan as like you do albino dildo he is free kept pace with dispo Resisted the power of destruction, withstood Broly's assault for an hour, survived the destruction of Planet Namek, telekinetically lifted over one million tons of stone, defeated Ultra Instinct Goku, Goku, Ultra Ego, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Frost, and Gas. Here's the thing. Uh, you're not talking about any of that shit. You're just talking about the Frieza saga. So, like... What? And by the way, guys, I'm not saying this just to, like, inherently shit on it or do anything like that. That's not my point here. It's just kind of like, you're giving me a summary of the feats and power without showing me anything past, like, a 30-year-ago point. Frieza has survived being pounded by Broly for over an hour. Okay, well, I spoke too soon. By Goku's spirit bomb and then split in half consumed by an exploding planet and left to float in the vacuum of space. Dope. He can survive without the vast majority of his body, though unlike other Dragon Ball villains, he can't heal on his own. It didn't help him that much after he got his ass sent to hell, but because of that dragon in his balls, he was back at it again. And with Dope. just four months worth of training, the first time he'd ever trained in his entire life, Frieza was able to achieve a new transformation capable Love that. of surpassing the Super Saiyan. Gold Golden Frieza. That's a level of laziness Ooh. I aspire to, Wiz. DeviantArt Frieza here lets him keep up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. A significantly weaker Super Saiyan. I feel like we should have started here, right? And God Goku could blow up the whole of Universe 7 in a punch clash with the God of Destruction, Beerus. And Dope. the shockwaves of their punches were able to reach the edges of existence in only a few seconds. Over 270 quadrillion times the speed of light. And that is before so many years of power-ups and training between then and now. Totally great. How do we make... How, how do you make Megatron fucking culpable to this like like come close to this shit you don't right Crazy, but nothing compared to his newest and greatest form a transformation capable of surpassing goku's ultra instinct and vegeta's ultra ego their peaks at this point a transformation even stronger than gas who was wished to be the strongest in the universe he literally said f you to the dragon balls 
This is Black Frieza! The all-seeing Oracle Fish had prophesied the coming of the universe's strongest. And perhaps he was talking about Frieza all along. Come on, Cap. give us another prediction! Oh, Wizzy, you killed it. I think you're gonna die. No, oh, for some godforsaken... The identity of the prophesied strongest warrior is technically still unknown. Popular theories include Gohan and Oob, Gas and Granola achieve such power thanks to wishes. Whereas Frieza achieved it on his own using a hyperbolic time chamber. Ah. Reason? He didn't use his newfound power to kill those pesky Saiyans. They were right there, you moron. In fact, he once committed the arch-villain's greatest sin and teamed up with them to save their universe and beat Jiren, a being comparable to the gods of destruction. Because Dope. no one's allowed to destroy the universe but him. And that's a promise he means to keep. This almighty emperor will continue to rule the universe with an iron grip and a heart of ice. But he doesn't. He doesn't do that anymore. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by NordVPN. You can listen, guys. I respect. I respect you because that's what keeps the that's what keeps the show going. But God, do I hate sponsor reads. Unless someone wants to sponsor me, then I'll do whatever the fuck you want. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Dope. Or you live even longer and become an 80s toy commercial. This is Love Megatron. That. My pri primary source for Megatron is the G1 continually presented by the 1980s cartoon IDW comics. Any other material must abide by rule 4. Okay. In Cybertron's ancient past, the planet was ruled by the Functionist Religious Order, which decreed a transform... Full name, Megatron of Tarn, height 38 feet. God damn, he's got that height advantage. Age 9 million years. Species Cybertronian, leader of the Decepticons. Desperately needs a cough drop. Likes Cybertron poetry, Optimus Primes. Hates Autobots, capitalism, Optimus Prime. Former's natural-born alternate mode determined their role and status in society rather than letting them choose for themselves. Born into this repressive caste system, Megatron of Tarn dreamed of something more. So this giant Hasbro toy robot, only $5.99 at your nearest Rite Aid, God wrote bless. a manifesto on peaceful dissent that got popular with the oppressed Cybertronian working class. So much so, in fact, that the Senate tried to have him assassinated. Whoa, politics alert. After surviving oh. that brush with death, Megatron was con- I did not realize that, um... Transformers was a very political comic. I had no idea. That's cool as fuck. Convinced that peace could never be an option. The only path left to overthrow the crippling social order was violent revolution. So were the Autobots originally the bad guys here? Optimus Prime? More like Optimus Crime. Never say that Megatron wasn't committed. The civil war he started between the two groups lasted nine million fucking years. And Respect. Again, remember. Toy robots. He was Love aided that. in his war efforts by his immensely powerful fusion cannon, a giant laser bazooka that can hit targets from 12 miles away and level a small town in a single shot. These projectiles are so fast, they're able to- Antimatter, buzzsaws, fusion cannon, energy mace, energy shield, energy sword, energy manipulation, flight, panic bubble, sonic blast. I don't see how we're scaling with Lord Frieza here, who's doing fucking- Yoda, Yoda tons, 23 zeros of TNT. Well, to exit the atmosphere from ground level after only a single second. By scaling the distance of the Earth using the angle of this shot, the fusion cannon's projectile must be moving over 4,200 times the speed of sound. But like me, the fusion cannon needs a little time. Before Megatron's cannon can be recharged and unleashed another blast, the five robot beasts leap together their forms rapidly shifting connecting and finally to recharge between shots so megatron's got some tools to keep the job going he can close the distance with his energon mace and block blows with his energon shield it helps that megs literally fought as a gladiator before his stunt as a revolutionary megatron can fire lasers from his eyes and arms launch buzz saws strong enough to slice through solid rock fly through the air and open up a force field known as a panic they're really, really trying to have this guy be culpable, and he's just not. Bubble. Now, it might seem like a huge flaw that it lets enemy combatants inside, but that's only until you realize it won't let them back out again. That's when the panic part comes in. Megatron's not trapped in there with you. 
You're drifting there with him. Megatron's Cybertronian body is strong enough to match the Autobot leader Optimus Prime, who can toss around oil tankers weighing hundreds of thousands of tons. And Megatron's metallic hide was tough enough to survive an explosion so massive, it launched the entire planet of Cybertron through space. By taking a look at Cybertron's mass and how fast it was sent flying to get its overall kinetic energy, Megatron must have survived a blast equal to nearly 4.5 Nina tons of TNT. One, two, three, four, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty. Nope, guys, sorry. More, more, z less zeros. I'm kidding. I think that's more, actually. Enough no, it's not. You said not a million. Star. He can even keep up with Decepticons like Starscream, who can fly across the galaxy from Earth to Cybertron at hundreds of thousands of times the speed of light. And he wouldn't be a Transformer without being able to... Gun based on Walther P38. Great gun. Cybertronian tank. Nice stealth bomber. Form into various vehicles. A tank. A Fuck bomber. yes! I didn't know it was. He could actually turn into a tank. That's awesome. And a gun. Just a gun. Go go gadget gun. I'm sorry, Wiz. I know he's this tragic revolutionary corrupted by the cycle of violence or whatever, but that is the funniest shit I have ever seen. What does he have? Like his deceptive buddies point him at people and fire? Sometimes. He can fire himself too. Oh my god. That looks even sillier. You may be laughing, but Megatron is no joke. By utilizing space bridge teleportation technology, Megatron can establish a remote link up to a nearby black hole and teleport the antimatter it produces to his location. Through his eyeballs! Should matter and antimatter meet, they will be mutually annihilated in a brilliant release of energy defined by E equals MC squared. It doesn't matter how durable the matter is, it will be destroyed at the subatomic level. Has Megatron's war for control of Cybertron drag? Well, we found Megatron's win condition. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we found it. Done. All of his highfalutin ideals started to fall to the wayside. In essence, there used to be a point to the war. Now, war was the point. His only goal left was to rule Cybertron with a literal iron fist. That's where Megatron's greatest weapon came into play. His mind. The dude is a strategic and tactical genius who's always thinking 10 steps ahead. He's fought powerful Transformers like Grimlock, Predaking, and the Decepticon, a being with the power of an entire evil universe behind it. He and Optimus have even fought Nova Prime and Regenesis Shockwave, both of whom could utilize the energy of that same universe. Megatron once sealed himself inside an Omniglobe and commanded a thousand real-life battles at once. Okay, that's every awesome. Iota of relevant information into his brain at the same time. The sheer deluge of data would be incomprehensible for anyone without that supercomputer brain. But all that robot ass kicking ended up as a draw, and the only true loser was Cybertron. With the planet Facts. in ruins and its civilization extinguished, the Cybertronian Golden Age was long over, and the vanguard of its destruction was Megatron, who's now a crusty Saturday morning. Commanded the Decepticons for millions of years, slaughtered hordes of Autobots single-handedly, fusion cannons, shots, exit the atmosphere at Mach 4200, antimatter was stated to be able to destroy half a planet, fought the Decepticon in Regina's shockwave, defeated Optimus Prime, Greta King and Grimlock. Grimlock. With a voice that sounds like he smokes 40 packs a day and a hate boner for his boneheaded second in command. Starscream. After countless yeah. millennia of a humiliating stalemate with his Boy Scout rival, Megatron's brilliant mind finally turned inward. He remembered that his early writings advocated for peaceful conversion and free thought instead of domination. It took you nine million years to remember why you started fighting in the first place? Would that memory get lost in the cloud? And Probably. Was possibly his most surprising tactical move yet, Megatron saved the universe from annihilation as an Autobot. What? He realized that after millions of years of indefinite war, the ideals that he fought for, freedom, justice, equality, had switched sides, and Megatron had to as well. Turns out there was more to this supervillain than met the eye, because true to his nature, Megatron transformed. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I hate better help. I don't like their commercials. I think they're not... If you use it, good for you. I just mean as in their commercials are really bad. The one I still love the one where it's like, 
Am I gay? Where do I go to talk about, you know, queer stuff? Like, Alexa's gonna fucking tell you that. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Ow. Greetings, noble warrior of planet Cyber whatever. I, Lord Freezer. Do they get little Karibo for this? Because respect. Claim this world as my own. Cheer for me or face annihilation. He I wins. I for my planet for eons. I would rather see it turn to ash than reside in your filthy hands, organic scum. Uh Good for you, but I, again, I think, I just think the DBZ numbers are bigger. <laughs> and everyone knows Death Bow's bigger number equals winner. <laughs> I love it when they monologue back. Ooh. Nice. I, he immediately goes final form. Does not even give a fuck. Construct a new mothership from your corpse. What's wrong? Is that clunky robot body too slow to keep up? My wish Probably. more than suffice, you blithering punks. Oh my god, I turned the subtitles off. I'm stupid. I meant to turn those back on. Oh my god. The background music is, is very aggressive. Angry, but goddamn aggressive. Where did he go? Huh? He's a tank! Run, Frieza! You can't beat a fucking tank! Not the tail. Yeah, I don't think he's going to black. Yeah, it's game over. Well, technically speaking, I guess he could just pull out some black matter, have that absorbed, and then, like, or antimatter, have that absorbed, and then, like, cause some bullshit to happen, but I don't, I don't agree with that. Alright, that's kind of sick. Excuse me? Alright, that was sick. Not even gonna cap with you, that was well, sick as fuck. This just always happen? I give it three, no, five minutes. My Behold the mighty Lord Frieza, ruler of a dying planet. My planet, where is your army? Where is your ship? So powerful, and yet you will wander the depths of space for eternity, all because of me! What a fool. You despicable, cretinous worm! I'll torture you until you're screaming! Listen, listen, 
I respect the shit talking while you are losing. That is, that is peak villain. If you can shit talk while you're losing, you are a king. I remember in high school watching somebody get into a fight, seeing them on the ground, and while this guy is just punching them in the mouth, he just kept saying, you're a pussy, you're a pussy. It was so fucking odd. I thought he won. I was like, I was like, he, he kept calling you a pussy and you kept acting like a pussy. He fucking won. Like, that's it. Oh, you fucked it. We found the win condition, at least. Or we didn't. Not the recreation of some bullshit. Yeah, that was clear. That was clearly what was going to happen. Must kill them all. KO! Wrong again, Frieza. It was actually one minute and ten seconds. Respect. Idiot. Megatron's ruthless resilience may have netted him a win in some scenarios, but Frieza's overwhelming power gave him a clear edge. Uh, to quote SAO Bridge, my numbers are bigger than yours. It's that simple. Megatron's ace in the hole was his antimatter, which would have annihilated- and Beerus claims destruction energy can destroy matter and release energy, which is similar to antimatter. Frieza has resisted being engulfed by destruction energy, and he could, so theoretically, resist antimatter through this- Though this is speculative. Oh my god, I can't read for the life of me no today. How dumb it was. And that was a real possibility. Megatron is a master tactician and manipulator with millions of years of combat experience. Frieza, on the other hand, has always relied on his raw power and intimidation to win fights. When things don't go his way, he has a tendency to freak out. However, Frieza has survived getting most of his body. Additional G1 material denotes much faster scanning feats. But these are not supported by the primary sources. There. And kept going. Which meant the antimatter wasn't a surefire win. It would have to completely cover Frieza's whole body before he could react. And Frieza was way too fast for that. While Megatron scaled the characters who could cross galaxies, Frieza has kept up with Goku, who should be a- It's implied sh Shockwave may have grown to be a threat to numerous timelines. Even though he could achieve this, Megatron and Opti Optimus together struggled to match him. This implies they were both weaker than Shockwave by a notable margin. He's trillions of times faster. And on his smaller size and key force fields, Frieza had more than enough ways to avoid, defend, or survive the antimatter. So Megatron's only option was power. While Megatron has survived Planet Bust. Notably faster, much more powerful, had plenty of defensive counters, vulnerable to antimatter. Megatron, more experienced, smarter, physically. What? Physically inferior? And larger size made for bigger target. Yeah, makes sense. Explosions, and even fought with a being that had the energy of a universe behind it. Golden Frieza was just too much for him, considering he certainly surpassed Goku and Beerus' punch clash. Since Universe 7 as a whole should be over 13 times larger than our own universe, Frieza's superforms would far exceed Megatron's own power. And that feat happened at the be- Ironically, a gold Megatron form exists, though it is part of entirely different canon than the American G1. And IDW continuation <clears throat> continuities. He looks hyped though. Beginning of Dragon Ball Super, Goku has gotten league stronger since then, and Black Frieza is currently beyond him. There was just no way Megatron was strong enough to keep up. Megatron was a devious foe, but Frieza's power, speed, and sheer survivability allowed him to crush the Decepticon leader underfoot. I guess you could say Megatron was cool, but Frieza was cooler the winner he hates that Frieza. he hates that you know he hates that that's very rude of you to say what he hates thanks for watching ben b singer great shit writer yep okay and hey are you a death belt? where are you little karibo fucking knew it oh, who did the animation animatic louise okay Remember? louise cruz does have some great Look at animations, you know what I mean? Right now, where members get to choose a matchup for the next season. 
So click that join button and jump into our champions discord. Fair enough. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, just like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, question of the day is who's your favorite tyrant? Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, peace out.